Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited to share my latest project, which is building a contemporary style coffee table. Right now I actually don't have a coffee table for my living room because I repurposed my coffee table into this stand for my fish tank. And so I figured this is a great opportunity to create something else. I live in a smaller townhouse, so I don't have a really big workshop space, but I'm lucky to have access to another workshop not too far from my house. So for certain projects that require tools I don't own, um, I head over there. And so I'll be doing that for this project. To start, I decided to get some one by eight boards of maple for the tabletop. My plan is to cut out this really organic looking shape for the top, so I'll have to use a few boards to create the width I'll need. First, I cut one of the boards to maximize the area I would have to create my shape. And then I laid out the boards in the way I wanted to join them. To join the pieces together, I'll be using biscuits, some wood glue, and a biscuit joiner. Next, I marked on each piece where I'll be putting a biscuit. I marked across both pieces of wood about every six inches. Next up, I used a biscuit joiner to cut little crescents into the side of the boards, lining up the center mark on the joiner with the mark I made on the wood. And you really wanna make sure you push the joiner lever all the way until it stops so that the crescents are deep enough for your biscuits. Once all the cuts were done, I put down a solid bead of wood glue along the side of the boards and made sure I got a good amount into the biscuit cuts. Once the glue was down, I worked quickly to get the biscuits in place and connect the two boards together. Once those biscuits hit the glue, they'll start expanding. So you want to join the pieces of wood together relatively fast Otherwise, you might have issues with it fitting correctly. The biscuit cuts are a little larger than the biscuits themselves, so that is why the markings are a bit offset once the whole thing is together. Due to the funky shape I'll be cutting out of this piece, it's okay that my biscuits are a bit offset as long as the boards are joined well. Once it's all joined, I placed four clamps on one side and then flipped it over and placed four more to balance out the other side and prevent any bowing in the wood. Make sure they're nice and tight while the glue is drying. Once the glue was dry, I used a belt sander to even out the surface of my tabletop. I also used some bench dogs to keep the piece in place while I sanded. And of course, I try to always wear my safety gear when sanding. I started sanding against the grain at first to get the couple spots that had a bigger height variation sanded down, and then switched to sanding with the grain until I couldn't see any cross scuffs in the surface. Whew. Okay, that was an arm workout. Um... Now that the sanding's all done, we'll move on to tracing out the shape we want to get and cutting it. Once I was happy with my shape, I cut it out using a jigsaw. Once I was happy with my cuts, I sanded out any imperfections with a drum sander attached to a drill, before using a router on both sides to round the edges of the piece. I like the softer look it gives the tabletop. I think it goes well with what I'm going for. Now it's time to keep sanding using a random orbital sander. I started with an 80 grit disc and then moved to 100, then 150, and finally finished with 220 grit. Before moving on to the finish, I used a trick someone showed me. I got a damp cloth and wiped the surface down, then went through and did another quick sanding by hand with a high grit sandpaper. This helps keep the finish smooth after you apply a stain or oil. At this point, I applied a few coats of Danish oil to give it a nice natural finish. 
and then finished it off with some paste wax. I'm always a fan of reusing or repurposing materials and I wanted to rework these metal legs from an old desk to create my table legs, but I decided they would be too heavy looking and decided to use these legs I got off Amazon instead. And here is the final product. The total cost of the build came out to just under $100. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful in my living room. And there you have it, a contemporary style coffee table that honestly was pretty easy to construct. A couple of points throughout the build, I was feeling really unsure of how it would turn out and was kind of doubting myself, but I actually loved how it, you know, came together. And I think it adds a lot of character to my living room. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you found this video interesting or helpful or if you have any questions for me, um, please leave them below in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.